Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am and once again I'm coming at you with another exciting video. While it looks like we got more good news, good news, good news, good news this week, the Vita is really fighting back hard this past month and this week has been no exception. I've got some info for you guys that I think you'll find very interesting. It would appear that seemingly out of nowhere, this has popped up on PlayAsia's website all of a sudden, unannounced. Well, I say unannounced, but this game was technically hinted at one year ago from the date that it popped up on PlayAsia's website this week by the developers. That can't be a coincidence, right? I mean, right? If you want another fun fact about this title, this was actually one of the first news videos I did for the PlayStation Vita back a whole year ago. Some of you guys may remember those moments. It was back when I only used still footage and talked like I was reading off a script. Very, very boring. Yep, those were definitely the dark ages of my channel. What are you talking about? You're still boring. Ah, <sighs> everybody's a critic. But anyway, yeah, it looks like we're going to be getting a physical version of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth for our handheld. Funny thing is, is that when I saw this pop up on PlayAsia's website, I half expected this to be an Asian English release. However, if you happen to look at it, it has the ESRB logo on it, confirming that it's going to be a US release. Oh snap. So for those of you who might be wondering what the heck is Binding of Isaac Rebirth, it sort of plays like an old school over the top Zelda, but has shooting elements to it and is a bit more horror-ish, and when I say a bit more, I mean <laughs> a lot more. I mean just look at the cover for goodness sake, that's some nightmare fuel right there. Now you might be thinking to yourself at this point, okay that's pretty cool, a physical release of Binding of Isaac Rebirth, but uh, surely you must have other goodies for us right? Well I certainly do. Now brace yourselves guys, because this news popped up almost at the exact same time that this physical release for Binding of Isaac Rebirth had popped up. Thanks to a certain trophy leak that happened this week, it would seem that Night Trap is finally going to be heading to our PlayStation Vita! Unofficially, officially. Whoa, now I'm confusing myself. Now hold on everyone, because it gets even better. Now I don't have official confirmation of this, but many people in the Vita community have been speculating that this title could be one of the 30 games that Limited Run said that they would be releasing. <sighs> And if that's true, uh, 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 I'm about to hyperventilate here guys, I don't know if I should party or pass out. Now one of the reasons I would tend to agree with the community on this one is because Limited Run themselves has hinted subtly and sometimes not so subtly about the PlayStation Vita version's existence. Not to mention that one of the devs also had hinted about it back about a year or so ago, showing that they had the official Vita dev kit for it. Again, at the time of making this video nothing has been 100% confirmed, but I think our chances are very very good I would say. Now I'm assuming most of you guys know what Night Trap is but for those who don't it's a full motion video game where you're supposed to stop these dudes with like black pantyhose on their heads. Hey I thought I was the one who came up with that idea from killing off each of the girls. The story takes place in real time however you probably won't be able to really enjoy its story elements because you'll be too busy checking the other rooms for the bad guys. Yep the story doesn't wait around for you everything happens in real time. Now I know some of you guys might be thinking eh this game was pretty bad even for its day. And and while I will admit that's up for debate, I personally am very nostalgic for this title. I first played it back on my Sega CD in... Ahem. <clears throat> Well, uh, we don't have to say the date. I swear I'm not that old! But I am looking forward to finally being able to have an HD version of this game to add to our ever-growing PlayStation Vita collection. And that officially covers all of the PlayStation surprise news that we got for this week. So tell me, my fellow Vita brothers and sisters, what's your opinion on this? If Night Trap does in fact come to our handheld and physically, will you be picking up the limited run games version of it? Or will you be going for the digital? And will you be picking up the physical release of Binding of Isaac Rebirth? I would like to know down in the comments below. And as always fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all and I'll see you next time.